Kini Chungju by one take one Gandatina Min Song to Joanin He Batiana Hun Tal and Ivang in Kan Papo School Achola Tanem Ngai the Kin Chungwa in Kan Gal Chuaka A big the Kin Tun Kema Now Pang Chow Nilovin Talaitam Takpo Senior Class Anon Gala Batian Tu Zirna and Naya Now Pang Pony Sang to the Joanin Class Nia Kan cina, karung bolpui, heta kan pa puju soale, kanau ani po Filipina tengah ronkal ani a, aron kenga, lom em emin, i kan suai ngala kan kalna pianga, jadi cianin, i lom takin rombol na mintoi om taya, kan lom em em ani tika, kan seidu e, tu na cianin i kan fate, syat yam turin, sabtungin reloute, hun kalanga. Jadi zaman ini kan naik panghoka, abik tak kini beginner le, elementary hoka, manon kelanga, lassak nale, batian tu soina, anda yang class class. Okay, this message is specially for you, and this is our last session together. So I need you to pay attention, okay? So all the eyes, I want you to look at me. And we're gonna read this verse together. Can you see? Okay, let's all read together. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So for this past two days that we're we have been here together, we learned about God's plan for you, right? We learned about what Jesus did for us. And I want you to draw attention to a book called The Story of the Three Trees, okay? So the story goes like this. There was these three trees on the hills. They all have dreams. Do you all have dreams? Yes, right? When I ask you, who do you want to be when you grow up, you all can tell me what you want to be. So are this tree. So the first tree thought about being a treasure box, a treasure that contained the most expensive jewels in the whole world. So it dreams that when I grow up, I'm going to be a treasure box, and I'm going to hold all the treasures in the world. The second tree, however, it's more adventurous. So the second tree said, I want to be a ship that sail across the ocean. I'm going to carry the most brave warrior. Who wants to be a warrior? Thank you for raising your hands. I see some girls. That is good. I want to be brave and I want to see the world. Okay? And the third tree dreams about being the tallest tree. And the third tree said, I want to be so tall, I want to be so strong, that whoever look at me will know that there is a creator. Okay? So friends, how many trees are we talking about? Yes. What was the first tree wanted to be? How about the second tree? How about the third tree? So good. You guys are amazing. Give yourself, say good job. Yes, good job, okay? So many times, many days, many months pass by, the trees were all now grown up, okay? And one day, there were men who came up and they cut down those trees. Well, the first tree was made into a manger. Can you say manger? Manger is a place where they put animals' food. So guess what? It's so smelly, it's stinky, and it's so tiny. And it has to live with other animals, okay? So the manger was so sad. And the, the, this little tree thought about, I wanted to become a treasure, but look, I am now with all these animals. Does the dream come true? No, right? It seems it doesn't. But guess what? One day on a Christmas, the Bible tells us in the Gospel of both Matthew, Luke, 
It tells us that Jesus was born in a manger. Jesus is not just a human, but he is also God, right? So Jesus, who is God himself, dwell among us, live with us. He came to this earth so that through him we would have life. And so as this manger hold the baby, it realized that he was holding the greatest treasures. Amen? Amen. Because Jesus is the greatest treasure. We cannot have anyone else more than Jesus. And the Bible tells us God gave him the greatest name of all names. And it is Jesus. Through him, you and I could live on with hope, not just for this earth, but our eternity is being secure. Okay? So let's discover what happened to the second tree. What does the second tree want it to become? Ship, right? And guess what? Well, it made into a boat. In fact, a fishing boat. So again, it's not that great. And so it was being discouraged. I am just a fishing boat. I did not even got to go to the ocean and have my adventure. But one day, this boat witnessed the king of all kings, the Lord of all lords, because there was a storm. The storm, the wave, it almost sink the ship. But then there was this man who came up and he said, can you repeat after me? Be still. Be still. Just that word. When he command, even the wave, the storm, they listened. And so this ship, this boat, realized that Jesus is the king of all kings. And the Bible tells us, can we read together? Matthew 28, verse 20. I am with you always, even to on the age. Until the end. Okay, at the very ends of our time, whether you are young, whether you are youth, whether we are adults or seniors who are young at heart, our God is always with us and there is comfort. Amen? Okay, let's discover what happened to the third tree. Well, the third tree who wanted to become a tall tree, right? It was just being pushed away. Now, for some of you, especially the youth, you might have so much dreams as you come to this land. You dream of America. And today, maybe our adults and seniors here may also think, I am here in the United States, first world country. You may have dream, and yet your dream is being pushed away. And you are like, I'm so useless. I'm nobody. I am nothing. You know, God understands our thoughts. But the good thing is, He is beyond unsearchable. He is so good and He is so powerful. If God is only powerful and not good, we are going to be in trouble. But He is good. He is kind. At the same time, He has all the power. Amen? He can change our life for His glory. So for this tree that was forgotten, one day, it was being rushed and put it up as, can you tell me what do you see on the screen? A cross. And it was carried by no other than our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so every time when we look at the cross, who do we remember? Jesus, our Savior. So indeed, that tree's dreams come true, okay? So my friends, especially those who are elementary and beginner, can you recite this verse with me? Okay, let's say together, all right? Romans chapter 5, verse 8. God show his great love for us by sending Christ to die while we were still sinners. We always want to be friends with someone who is like us or someone who is kind. But for God, 
He gave us His life, even when we sin against Him. That's the greatest love. And so, again, the verse that we read from the very beginning talks about God telling us that He had a plan for you. Okay? So, my friends who are young, my friends who are youth, I want you to hold on to this verse and say that sometimes the enemy, Satan may whisper, you are not good enough. You won't make it. But hold on to this verse and stand on your ground and say, God has a plan for me. I am going to make it. I'm going to make a difference in this country for his glory. Amen? Okay. Thank you for your time. I want to invite all the elementary and the preschooler to come up here. We're going to sing a song, Jesus is the Light. Okay? All right. Please come up. <laughs>